Uh, hi, my name is Felix Powiedziński. I am a member of a, a membrane team. Uh, today I will have a presentation about Boombox, how you can integrate Boombox with Phoenix Live View, and how you can use these two tools to perform live video styling in the Elixir. Uh, but before I will start, uh, I will show you so, some ra one random slide from the middle of my presentation. And please uh, ensure that you can see the code. And if you don't see it right now, I, I encourage you to change your seat uh, to be able to know what's going on. And uh, both TVs on the sides of the, of the room, I think uh, they should uh, present the code uh, quite well. OK, so let's start. Uh, probably, maybe all of you already know what is Phoenix Live View, but to do a quick reminder, uh, Phoenix uh, Live View is a part of the Phoenix framework that allows you to build interactive web applications without the need to use JS. And it is enabled by a uh, server sending HTML updates to the cl client uh, via WebSocket. OK, and what is Boombox? Uh, Boombox is a quite new Elixir tool uh, for multimedia streaming and processing. Uh, it uses under the hood membrane framework, and it has API, of course, in Elixir. Uh, it provides command line interface, and we are currently working on the API in Python. And if you don't know what is membrane framework, it is a framework. It is an Elixir framework for building uh, custom multimedia solutions. Uh, so here we have a small code snippet that uh, illustrates how you can use Boombox. To use Boombox in, Eli in Elixir, we have to call Boombox run function, and we have to specify input and output. Boombox will take the media streams from the input and will forward them to the specified output. And both input and output can be in the various uh, types. One of the uh, data types that is supported by Boombox is WebRTC. WebRTC is a standard that specifies how you can send and receive uh, live multimedia streams over the internet. And it is implemented in the browsers. So uh, you can use Boombox to send a multimedia stream to the browser uh, using WebRTC or vice versa. Boombox also supports some other protocols that can be used for live video streaming or audio streamings, such as, for example, HLS. And uh, Boombox also supports various formats that can be used to store uh, multimedia streams, such as, for example, MP4 or MP3. So you can use Boombox to, for example, get the WebRTC stream from the browser, and then you can save. You, you, you can use Boombox to save the stream in the file in the MP4 format, or you can take an audio from MP3 file and broadcast it, broadcast it using Boombox uh, via HLS. Another type of data that is supported by Boombox is Elixir Stream with uh, multimedia packets. Uh, this feature is quite powerful because it allows us to uh, get the stream uh, from somewhere, and we can use Boombox to get the stream and pass the multimedia stream into our Elixir code to, for example, analyze the code or to modify it. Or we can generate the stream in the Elixir code, and then we can pass the stream to Boombox to, for example, save it in the file or to stream it over WebRTC to the browser. And uh, yeah, uh, the, another functionality that is not released yet is plugging Boombox into membrane pipelines. So you will be able soon to plug Boombox into membrane to, for example, use it as a membrane data source or data sync. Uh, so let's see how we can integrate Boombox with Phoenix Live View. But first, I have prepared a little surprise for you. Uh, till now, uh, we have released only the one version of Boombox, 010. Uh, but now there came a time when we decided that we want to release a second version of Boombox, 0 to 0, and I will do it right now. Uh, so 
I will type uh, mix uh, hex publish, this time without uh, dry run. And I have to proceed, yes. Yeah, so Boombox 020 is now available on uh, HexPM. Uh, so let's go back to my slides. Uh, and let's see how we can integrate Boombox with LiveView. Uh, to do so, I will create a Phoenix project and I will add Boombox uh, to its depths. And of course, I will have Phoenix and Phoenix Live View there as well. And then I will go to the implementation of, the, of my Phoenix Live View module. In the mount callback of this uh, module, I will start Boombox uh, using Boombox run function. And I will, I will set the input of the Boombox to WebRTC. A WebRTC requires uh, exchanging some signaling messages uh, before establishing the multimedia connection. So in order to be able to, to exchange these messages, uh, I will spawn a membrane WebRTC signaling process that will uh, handle these messages. And I will set Boombox output to WebRTC as well, and I will spawn another membrane WebRTC signaling to handle uh, signaling messages from Boombox egress WebRTC. And because Boombox run function lasts uh, till the stream flows through Boombox, I will wrap uh, Boombox run with task start link in order to have uh, Boombox running in the background. And now I have to attach two Phoenix LiveView modules to my socket. The first one will be Membrane WebRTC Live Capture. Uh, live Capture is responsible for capturing the stream from the browser and sending it over WebRTC uh, to the Boombox or Membrane uh, at the Elixir server. And I will set ID of the capture to Media Capture. I have to pass the, the same signaling that I have passed uh, to input WebRTC in Boombox in order to be able to exchange signaling messages between Capture and uh, Boombox ingress WebRTC. And I will set audio to false and video to true uh, to be able to capture only the video stream. Uh, uh, okay. And the second uh, Phoenix Live View that I will attach is Membrane WebRTC Live Player. I will set uh, Live Player will be responsible for receiving the WebRTC stream from the Elixir and displaying it on the web page. Uh, okay, so uh, I will set the ID of the player to video player, and uh, similar as in the previous case, I will uh, I have to pass there the same uh, the Boombox egress WebRTC signaling. Okay, so now the mount callback of our Phoenix Live View module is implemented, uh, and let's go to the render of the same Phoenix Live View module. Uh, I will live render here the same two lives that I have attached to the socket, capture and player. I, have, uh, I will pass there the same IDs that I have used in the attach functions. And uh, so now Membrane WebRTC Live Capture will be visible on the web page as a video tile with a preview of the captured stream. Membrane WebRTC Live Player will be visible as a video tile uh, that will show us the stream that arrives from the server. Uh, so I will add some labels to know uh, on the web page which video tile is which. And now, last thing that we have to do is to create uh, Phoenix Live View hooks in AppJS file in our Phoenix project. Uh, to do so, I will do some Phoenix imports. And I will uh, import two functions from Membrane WebRTC that will be used to create these hooks. Then I will uh, define WebRTC ICE servers. In this case, I decided to use uh, the one provided by Google. And then I will create uh, two hooks, one for capture and one for player. And I will pass these hooks to uh, the constructor of the WebSocket that will be used by Phoenix Live View. And now we can uh, run our demo. Uh, okay. Uh, 
I will start Phoenix server. And then I will enter the web page, uh, the browser. And uh, you can see uh, right now that I see two video tiles on the web page. The top one with the preview of the captured stream, and the bottom one uh, that shows the stream that arrives from the server. And the streams are the same. Uh, sh shows the same with only this difference that the top one by default mirrors the stream that you capture. Uh, and this is all live, and I haven't recorded uh, this earlier. Uh, okay, so let's go back to my presentation. And now I will show you how you can perform live video styling from the title of my presentation, uh, just slightly modifying the code that uh, from the previous demo. Okay, so in order to perform live video styling, I will write a small uh, Elixir module that uh, will allow me to apply a style transfer on the single images. Not on the video, but on the single images. Uh, and I will implement here a load model function that will receive a style that I want to apply, will resolve the path to the uh, AI model in ONNX format, and then will um, will load this model using Ortex library. Ortex is an Elixir library with some bindings in Rust that allows you to run uh, AI models exported in ONNX format. Okay, and once we can load the model, we want also want to have some way of applying it. So I will write apply function that will take the single image. It will preprocess the image. Preprocessing will be made of uh, transforming image into an extensor and some an extensor operations, such as, for example, transposition. After preprocessing the image, I will run the model with the preprocessed tensor, and then I will take the tensor that is returned by the model, and I will post-process post it. Uh, Post-processing will be made, again, uh, of some any sensor operations, such as, for example, clamping on or reshape, uh, to, at the end, transform the any sensor again to the image. Uh, so the apply takes the image, applies a model on it, and returns the image, but this time uh, modified, by the, modified by the model. And now let's take the same boombox run that I have used in my previous demo. Uh, this boombox run function returns OK Atom. But if I will change the output from WebRTC to stream, now this function will return an Elixir stream with multimedia packets. So we can get the stream and pass it to the stream map function. Each element of the stream will be single row video frame. It means it, each packet has one image that is kind of the snapshot of the video. I will take uh, the, these images and I will apply a style transfer uh, on them. In this case, I decided to use uh, the model that applies the style of the Picasso. Uh, and once the images are updated, we will pack them back to the boombox packets. And now you can see that I have a situation where uh, I used boombox to get the WebRTC stream from the browser, and then I injected the stream into the Elixir code, and I modified live video stream in my Elixir code. So now I will take the modified stream, and I will pass it again to the boombox, uh, and I will set the output of the second boombox to a party C. So I have now two boomboxes. The one gets the stream from the WebRTC stream from the browser, and the second one uh, streams the stream uh, to browser back. And I have some uh, video stream modification between these two boomboxes. So, uh, because I have one ingress WebRTC and one egress WebRTC, I can copy the code just the code that you see right now, and paste it directly into the place where previously I have just single boombox run. And uh, let's see how it works. I have the second demo where I have uh, done this uh, before the presentation. Uh, so let's stop the previous uh, one and... Start the second Phoenix server. Uh, okay, so now I will enter the web page. Okay, so you can see the. <laughs> you, 
You can see again two video tiles, and still the top one contains the preview of the capture stream. But now the bot uh, uh, and the bottom one still contains the uh, still shows the stream that arrives from the server. But this time uh, the stream is modified frame by frame in the Elixir code. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, what I wanted to show you on my presentation today. Uh, uh, mainly, I wanted to show you today how, you ca how easy it is to add WebRTC to the Phoenix application with Boombox. And uh, that with Boombox, you can not only forward uh, multimedia streams from one side to another, but also you can do something custom with them if you want. And uh, thank you for coming uh, today at my talk. Uh, here, uh, there, if you are interested in knowing more about Boombox, you can enter the hex docs. Uh, you can also use the, the second QR code to, uh, to take a look at the demos that I have run today. And I, uh, do we have some time on questions? Um, thank you very much for this wonderful presentation, very impressive. I wanted to ask, do you run this anywhere in production? And if yes, what is the the load on the server? So like you, you run an, like an AI model here, you have the whole um, transformation okay. process, like yeah, can you just run it on one server or what's the load? Uh, so uh, Boombox itself uh, wasn't run on the production yet because it's quite a, quite a new tool. But I can answer the second part of your uh, of your question. Uh, it depends because uh, because uh, when you use WebRTC uh, or uh, uh, or use uh, pass uh, like Boombox uh, can do. There are two things that can happen. If you only the forward a multimedia stream uh, from one side to another, it's a rather cheap operation in terms of performance, and it shouldn't be very resource. Uh, it shouldn't con consume much resources. But what can consume uh, many resources is decoding. Encoded because video streams, when the when the browser sends uh, a stream over WebRTC to the server, it is encoded like uh, for, uh, like you have an image in RGB and in JPEG. JPEG is smaller, but you have to put some computation to make it back to RGB. So video streams are encoded in different way, but they are also encoded. So uh, when the to apply an AI model. Uh, the streams arrive on the server. Boombox has to decode the stream to make it in RGB format. It, this is quite resourceful. Then we apply an AI model. It also consumes some resources. And then we have to encode the uh, stream uh, again. And encoding is even more uh, consumes even more resources than decoding. So if you decode and encode, this make this may consume this will consume few times more resources than just uh, forwarding the stream from one side. On the another, yeah, uh, but and but uh, it's like when you just forward the stream. Usually, the encoding or decoding is is not necessary, and uh, you can also use Boombox to get, for example, an audio stream and do something with audio stream and pass audio stream to AI model. And decoding and encoding audio streams is much 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 lighter than video streams. Huh? Uh, on the audio, see. Uh, yes. <laughs>